FCPS employs more than 350 visual art teachers, many of whom continue to create their own works of art while sharing their expertise with students. One such artist teacher is Michael Coriano of Marshall High School. Michael teaches photography and ceramics and recognizes that working on his own pieces helps him in the classroom. Well, being a, a working artist I think is really imperative because one of the great things about art is the amount of critical thinking that you need to produce a nice piece. As art teachers, we present problems, visual problems for the students to solve. And as you sit down and you plan and then you start building the sculpture, sometimes your, your balance isn't off and you have to figure out why my piece is falling over. So it's not just about making it look nice, but it's about how it structurally fits. And if I wasn't making art at the same time, that connection to that process of making and having success and failure wouldn't be there. Now you're going to open it to the mouth or the size that you want for what you're planning on making. So I'm going to make a cylinder that could become a mug. In visual art, we really uh, love to have art teachers who um, also are practicing artists. Uh, when, they, when they go through the practice of art making, they are using the thinking skills and strategies and mechanical skills that they are then uh, in the classrooms trying to share with their students. That process is, uh, you know, a, a process of finding inspiration, finding ideas, planning ideas, and, and going through a lot of that creative and design process that is such an important uh, and integral part of the art curriculum in FCPS that we really value teachers who are continuing to use that process in their own work. Michael's current works of art are on display at his shared studio space in Mount Rainier, Maryland. My work isn't just about, here's a beautiful piece of work, here's a message that says, I hope you enjoy it. It's a little interactive, um, and some of my work is performance-based, where I'm putting myself on a street corner in DC or in a gallery, and it's kind of in an intervention of art. One of my pieces is actually really interactive, where it's about missteps and failures and, um, and a cathartic release, and, and how we can move past some things that have either been put on us or we've created issues for ourselves and the, the people actually interact with the piece. I've cast multiples of left feet and the people can walk up, pick up a foot and think of a misstep and then they hurl the foot at a target on the wall and it explodes and shatters with this lovely sound um, and they have this cathartic release of, okay, I'm gonna put that past me and I'm gonna move on. Oh, that was intense. That felt that was really intense. Intense. In the classroom, being a working artist allows for a deeper connection to his art students, as Michael can share specific strategies and ideas to overcome any given struggle a student may have. You know, when the teacher is artist too, and you have this feeling that you are an artist too, so by the time you face with trouble, that you are not, you're feeling comfortable that he had faced this problem before. So it will really help to have this connection between you and your teacher and know that your teacher is an artist too. The thing that I think a lot of adults forget and that kids just never understand is that learning is lifelong and it's a journey. And my path as an artist is still continuing. I'm, you know, still at the beginning of my career and I'm getting better and I'm mastering things as I go. But I think that it's short-sighted to say that, you know, uh, people who can't do teach because there's too many of us who have left professional careers and decided to teach because we have a passion for our craft, whether it's a core or in the fine arts, um, that we want to share and that we want to inspire children. And when you can sit down with a kid and throw in the potter's wheel and they can see what you can do, they're like, oh, I want to do that. And they'll step onto that pathway. You're inspiring to them. To see more works of art by FCPS teachers, visit the 6th Annual Artist Teacher Exhibition at the Workhouse Arts Center in Lorton from December 4th to January 12th.